What is up everybody, Garden State Aviation here, back with another video. This is the NG Models July 2021 releases. Without further ado, let's get started. So starting off here at the top, we have this Delta A330-300. It looks pretty nice. Um, I gotta find a way to, yeah, that's not gonna work, okay. So, uh, this is the Delta A330-300. Uh, it kinda looks, it looks like an A330-200. Um... I don't know if my eyes are messing with me or if it's an AT3200, but the engines look like it's an make it look like it's an AT3300. Uh, AT3200. The end. Sorry, the engines make it look like it's an AT3200, even though it is an AT3300. But uh, yeah, I personally don't do this for Newark, but uh, I know a lot of you who do Delta hubs, so such as Detroit, Minneapolis, uh, and Atlanta. Those you guys are obviously gonna get this. Now, I know that Gemini Jets did release the. I think it was this model, the AT3300 in the Delta regular delivery. I'm pretty sure Gemini Jets did release this before, and now LG Models is releasing it. But, uh, yeah. Registration is November 806 November Whiskey and 806 MW. It's scale 1 to 400, and the MSRP is $56. Moving on the line, we have this Southwest Boeing 737-800. Uh, now this looks very nice. Um... It actually looks very, very nice compared to, it's just clip art, but like compared to Gemini's, this is really nice. Um, but I feel like Gemini gets an NG, and this is a paradox that a lot of uh, model YouTubers talked about, but like, in this way, I kind of feel like NG Models is copying Gemini Jets, or Gemini Jets is copying NG Models, because it was like around the same time that both of these companies, uh, even before they officially announced that they were making this, uh, the model stores released uh, they, where you could buy it on pre-order, you could buy Gemini 1 and NG 1 in this Southwest livery, so... Yeah, I don't know what's up with the deal with that, but I think that maybe it's just a coincidence. But uh, yeah, uh, like I said, uh, it's actually pretty cool, but uh, I don't need it for Newark. And uh, yeah, registration is November 500 Whiskey Romeo and 500 WR. Scale 1 to 400, and the MSRP is $46.99. Alright, now this is another example of that paradox of model companies copying each other because uh recently on gemini jets uh i think gemini jets, sorry gemini jets is going to release they're actually going to release this too this model too and ng models releasing their july releases so it's kind of that uh, it's kind of also part of that paradox of like the two model companies copying each other even though they aren't but uh yeah this is the alaska 737 900 it's in the UNCF Education Change the World livery. Uh, basically, UNCF, I believe it's United Nations Change Foundation or something like that. Uh, I think that's what I think. I think that's what it is. I think that's what it is. But I have n I'm not 100 percent sure. But um, yeah, this is a 737-900. Um, I always talk about how I need uh, Alaska 737-900s, 737 and I don't actually get them. Uh, this month, I actually have money to get uh, stuff from uh, NG's uh, releases, NG and Gemini's. I actually have money this month, so I don't know if I'm going to do this, or I'm just going to save my money for what happens in August, because uh, for, personally for me, so far, uh, NG models releases right now have been pretty monotonous, but uh, yeah, uh, I personally... Uh, need it for Newark. Not the livery, but I need the aircraft for Newark. Registration is November 492 Alpha Sierra and 492 AS. It's scale 1 to 400 and the MSRP is $46.99. Moving on down the line, we have this Delta 757-200. This is in the Ron Allen livery. It's going to be very nice for those of you who are retro collectors. Of course, they don't need it. I don't collect any retro models. But uh, yeah, it looks pretty nice. Registration is November 601 Delta Lima. Uh, and 601DL, it's scale 1 to 400, and the price is $46.99. By the way, uh, all of these models are scaled 1 to 400. Moving on down the line, we have this Iran Air 747SP, and I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure uh, NG already released it. I don't know if this is a release, but uh, let's go check. Let's go into their database, and let's do Iran Air. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I think this is a re-release. Um, cause this is the old one. This was in the 1980s livery, and then this is the 1970s livery. Th they look completely identical. This is the new one that's being released, 
and this is the one that's being that was released in October. Uh, there's really no difference besides the flag. Um, this the everything is the same on the livery, so I don't know. I don't know what's the, what the deal with that is, but uh, yeah, that, this is the Southwest. Uh, sorry, Iran Air seven four seven SP. Uh, it's in the late 1970s livery. I don't need it, uh, but of course a lot of retro collectors will need it, but uh, or want it. Uh, registration is Echo Papa India Alpha Charlie EP IAC. It's scale one to four hundred, and the MSRP is fifty eight dollars. Moving on down the line, we have this China Airlines 747 SP. Now, uh, the difference, uh, I think, uh, mainland China is Air China, right? Yeah. So this would, this is this is just a regular uh, China Airlines 747 SP. This is the this is Taiwan's national airline. This is um, uh, retro, of course. This is a retro release. This is the. Um, early 1980s livery it's 747 sp of course i don't need it but a lot of retro asian collectors will want it but uh yeah registration is bravo 1880 b180 it's going to 400 and the msrp is 58 bucks moving on to the line we have this saudi a330 300 and uh it's ironic planes passing over me right now but uh sorry uh we have a saudi a330 300 um, I don't need it for Newark, but a lot of people who maybe are building JFK or do Saudi destinations, so I'm not really familiar with Saudi, but I do believe that they fly to JFK using this aircraft or the 777. I'm not sure, but those of you who do Saudi international destinations or have a Saudi a hub, uh, have a Saudi Arabian airport, this will be the model for you. But uh, I personally don't need it. Registration is Hotel Zulu Alpha Quebec 25 HVAQ25. Scale 1 to 400, and the price is 56 bucks. Moving on down the line, we have yet another Sun Class A330. Uh, sorry, not another A330, but we have another Sun Class model. Sorry. And this is actually uh, what I like about NG models is that they're releasing these. Airlines that Gemini just refuses to release, like you see Gemini just releasing the same airlines over and over and over, like Delta United, Delta United, Spirit, Delta United. Meanwhile, you have NG models, which is kind of experimenting uh, with the retro models and also uh, just doing these sort of obs more obscure airlines like Sun Class. But uh, yeah, as a Sun Class AP30, I don't need it, but those of you who do leisure destinations, leisure European holiday destinations, uh, most likely in the Caribbean, uh, I'm not, I'm not familiar with Sun Class or its fleet, but uh, yeah, this is a Sun Class A330. Registration is Oscar Yankee Victor Kilo India, OYVKI. This, um, let's check, OY registration. Um, I think that is Danish. Sorry, Danish. So it's a Danish aircraft. So Sun Class is Danish. So it's uh, scale one to four hundred, and the price is fifty six bucks. Moving on the line, we have this Dragonair L ten eleven. Um, nothing much to say about it. This is gonna be nice. Those of you who are retro collectors, I don't need the model. But uh, yeah, registration is Victor Romeo Hotel Oscar Delta V R H O D. Scale one to four hundred, and the price is fifty six bucks. Moving on down the line, we have a Kalita Air. Um, L1011. It's actually interesting. I didn't know that Kalita Air used to operate the L1011. That's actually really interesting. Um, it looks nice. I don't need it, but a lot of retro collectors will want this. Uh, registration is number 102 Charlie Kilo and 102 CK. Scale 1 to 400, and the price is 56 bucks. So, uh, the reason why NG's June 2020 releases were quite small compared to uh, the July 2020 releases was because they put out a statement on Instagram basically saying that they're switching factories and that um, they're going to basically have uh, sort of a switch. Uh, with the factories, so that uh, basically the June short term releases are gonna be smaller than than the July ones. And oh, I'm sorry, I skipped one. This is a another Raya Airways release. Uh, it's a 757-200. Of course, I don't need it. Registration is nine Mike Romeo Yankee Alpha nine M RY. It's scale one to four hundred and just forty six ninety nine. But uh, yeah, I do apologize for skipping the Raya Airways. But uh, yeah, this is actually quite a retro release. You have Delta, a retro Delta, retro Iran, China, 
and you also have a retro Dragonair and Kalita Air. So it's actually very interesting uh, how many retro models that NG Models releases compared to the modern models, and that's kind of good for those of you who are retro collectors. But uh, yeah, if I had to get something from this release, really all I would get is the Delta UNCF. Not Delta, sorry, Alaska UNCF. That's really the only one that I would get, but uh, yeah. That being said, that does conclude this video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, share my videos, and comment down below what you're getting from this release. Once again, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, goodbye.